Greetings dear ones. We often live in our minds. We are constantly living in our minds. All the issues, all the problems, all the challenges that we face in day to day life is because we live in the mind. And that is something that is not in our hands. That is what we assume. Because thoughts are so powerful. The mind is so powerful. How much ever we put our efforts or will power as it is called we see that it becomes more powerful the mind becomes even more powerful so we live battling in the mind trying to battle the thoughts trying to battle our patterns and conditionings trying to battle our mind itself the mind is nothing but linked to the ego and that's why it makes it so strong the more the identity ego means the identity of separatedness from the self or the source the more strong that is the false i the identity and association with this body this name and this form the more strong it is the more stronger the mind gets that is why it becomes very difficult to not live in the mind but the life of awareness is something that is beyond the mind when we live continuously in awareness we are living not in the mind this has been seen and i can speak this with conviction because i have used this in my life and it works wonders so and also in the personal consultations that i am doing all i see often is the main problem that they have is the mind itself and that gives roots to many other many other forms of problems and challenges in life including physical challenges emotional challenges mental challenges and even spiritual challenges the all root from this ego stem and the mind so the only way to live life is living a life of awareness because awareness is not of the mind when we are rooted in awareness the more we are rooted in awareness the less we are living in the mind the funda is very simple and through my own life experiences and what i have observed in the mystics all this comes from the mystics and the the power of the awareness that all these great masters and enli- enlightened beings use i've studied them at close close vicinity and have concluded it in my life also and that is the same that i'm doing for the past few years i'm sharing this light of awareness with multiple people and seeing the results in their life they themselves see it and when i have this personal consultations in one hour two hours three hours sometimes whatever they sign up for by the end of the session they are illumined where does this illumination come from it is from this awareness this consciousness that they become more and more conscious and then they live up that that life of awareness by lighting up the flame of awareness in their life and building it up slowly and transformations can be seen very very fast and it does not need a particular time or place to practice but it just needs your presence of and this interest to evolve so that's more than enough it doesn't need shutting off even the five indriyas the five senses it doesn't need you to meditate it doesn't need you to close your eyes shut down yourself sit straight or isolate yourself somewhere it can be done living virtually and literally anywhere and everywhere i do it everywhere while i'm watching tv while i'm speaking to someone while i'm traveling while i'm enjoying or relishing and uh, relishing any good food or place i do it all the time and this awareness enhances not just the awareness sense of awareness of myself and helps me living a more conscious life but it makes me more aware of my surroundings including the people around me it's 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 got wonders because when you start becoming more aware and conscious of yourself and the life around you it gives you a different perception you deal with people and places and things and events and circumstances and environments in a very very different manner and that changes that makes a big difference to your life more of all as you progress spreading that light of awareness within your whole life you will see the illumination happening even in your physical bodies and in your subtle bodies and that makes again a lot of difference in your spiritual journey it takes you closer and closer to your soul 
or yourself it it always binds you and helps you merge with the higher tatvas including even if you have a master the consciousness of your teacher of your master it binds you merges you with that and helps you merge further with the divine light of the supreme consciousness which i call the param tattva so these are some experiments that i did and with the help of many mistakes and many many mistakes and uh, saints who have come across in my life i have experimented with this spoken with them exchanged and come to know that this is all in the highest order that's happening in the start i did not have awareness of this but something spontaneously just began happening and that has expanded into this kind of awareness and it keeps you motivated on the path and it keeps you in the line right alignment that's very important it always keeps you aligned and when you are in alignment it gives you wonders it brings you miracles it brings you all those divine synchronicities which is meant to be for your highest good so if you need any help i am always there personal consultations are always going on i will i can uh, give you enough time because if personal consultations and sessions means individual uh, challenges or individual issues that they have so that needs a different kind of an approach which will have dedicated attention to that so that's one advantage if not all these videos are there which can commonly help you but if you feel you have something to address especially clarity most of the people who sign up for personal consultation sign up for lack of clarity and i show them and demonstrate demonstrate in the session itself because it's a very practical experience that we have together it's not just philosophy or theory that we talk about i make them experience what i am talking about and when they experience they have conviction about their own path and the light of awareness that they need to develop within and that's how most of the things takes place so also i'll be shortly um, conducting very short small events or courses or something that can help or seminars that can help in these will be paid of course because this is again for serious people and it gives me also a commitment and uh, being responsible to dedicate and give much better quality in the work that i am already doing so this also will come up some online and some in some physical locations i do not have any idea as of now because i am a person of awareness i leave it all to my consciousness to do what is best for me and for the highest good of all much divine love and light to you stay blessed <laughs>